And at number 10, Jamila Jamil. Jamila Jamil is known for her signature black hair and split cut bangs, but she decided to make a big change for fall and revealed on Instagram that she dyed her hair a beautiful pumpkin shade. At first she captioned the photo, OK Boomer, then she changed the caption to read, Multipass. The hair color change is most likely related to her new role as Marvel supervillain, Titania in the new She-Hulk series. This color is a big change for Jamila, but it's been very popular among other celebrities for fall. Both Sophie Turner and Gigi Hadid have also dyed their hair similar shades of orange recently. In at number 9, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen is known for his signature look, and he hasn't changed much during his time in Hollywood. Until now. On May 7th, Seth revealed his new look that he's been sporting while filming the movie Pam and Tommy, a Hulu series based on Baywatch star Pamela Anderson and her husband, Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee, detailing the scandal after an intimate tape of the couple was leaked. In the photo set, he shares photos of Lily James and Sebastian Stan, along with photos of himself, writing that his co-stars are much cooler than him. Not only did Seth shave his beard, he's also rocking a mullet haircut. The comments on the photo are all shocked, with fans hardly able to recognize Rogan in the photos. And at number 8, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish's changing hair colors are pretty much synonymous with her brand at this point, and she is most famous for her bright green roots and black hair look. But she decided to make a big change in 2021 by bleaching her hair blonde and getting an old Hollywood haircut. Since Billie is usually very edgy, this was a big change for fans. Billie decided to answer some questions about the hair in an informal Q&A session. She revealed that she kept the hair a secret from her fans for 6 weeks because that's how long it took to get the hair color just right. She even included a photo of her first dye job where her hair was completely two tones. She also revealed after the bleaching her hair is shockingly healthier than ever. As a person with bleached hair, I have no idea how that's possible, but very good for her. I wish that was the same for me. And at number 7, Dylan O'Brien. Dylan O'Brien shocked fans when he shared his new bleach blonde buzz cut with the world. The Maze Runner star is known for his scruffy brown hair, but his style took a complete 180 when he shaved and bleached his hair for his role in the upcoming film For You. The movie's official TikTok showed off O'Brien's transformation while shooting was underway in August of 2021. Along with the hairstyle change, he also has a sleeve of fake tattoos. Dylan plays Colin in the movie. The look at fans so crazy that Dylan's name actually started trending on Twitter shortly after the TikTok was posted. In at number 6, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian generally isn't known for changing up her hairstyle. She usually sports brown or blonde hair, usually long and straight. But she recently revealed that her natural hair is really different than what you might expect, and she has beautiful curls. She shared a carousel featuring multiple images and videos of her natural hair, with the caption reading, quote, I rarely wear my natural hair texture, felt kinda cute with it, please don't ruin the feeling. The texture is a mix of loose, highlighted waves and curls that reach about her shoulders. She even shared a picture of herself when she was younger, with huge, bouncy curls. She says her hair looks very different now because of straightening treatments. Halfway number 5, Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union showed off a huge hair transformation in July of 2021 when she revealed she got a super short haircut. She captioned the photos of her new look saying, quote, So I did a thing. The movies always show women cutting their hair when all is lost, but I wanted to know the feeling of making a change when things are gravy. It is different and it's foreign to me, but I'm happy with this new new. Union was flooded with compliments on the new look, with many specifically loving her message that not all big changes need to happen as a result of trauma. My current bleach blonde hair is a result of a breakup, so I can resonate with the message that, yeah, hair change through trauma, that is what this is, but I've had it for three years since, so I mean, I'm happy about it. <laughs> and at number four, Christina Aguilera. Christina is known for her classic blonde locks that she's had for most of her career, but she just decided to switch things up, maybe for Halloween. Halloween, and she's now rocking a gorgeous auburn shade. The stunning photo showed Christina sitting at a table wearing gloves, along with wearing heavy black makeup and a smoky eye. Fans are absolutely losing it over the transformation. One commented, quote, Honey, I just almost fell down a flight of stairs when I saw this picture. The next wrote in all caps, The world is ready. And a third said, Oh my god, I'm screaming. This is not the only change that Christina has made recently. She also revealed she lost 50 pounds with a series of diet, exercise, and lifestyle changes. And at number three, Tom Cruise. Legendary actor Tom Cruise shocked fans last weekend while he was out at a baseball game. The actor is known for his looks, so fans were shocked to see he looked different than usual. There were no major changes, but for some reason, Tom Cruise did not look like himself. He watched Game 2 of the National League Division Series, watching the San Francisco Giants play the LA Dodgers with his son Connor. After the photos went viral on Twitter, fans were shocked to learn that the person in the photo was Tom Cruise. It was speculated this was a result of weight gain, some even thought he might have gotten some bad filler or Botox. 
One comment said, quote, This looks like someone wearing Tom Cruise's face. But others actually defended the actor, saying he most likely just gained some weight between movies and we shouldn't fat shame him for looking normal. And at number two, Heather Locklear. Heather Locklear was a bombshell in the 80s and 90s, known for her beauty for most of her career. However, she took time out of the spotlight in 2018 after she suffered an OD followed by some time in rehab. She then was arrested after allegedly assaulting an emergency medical technician that was called to her home during a domestic dispute. Now that Heather has recovered, she is back working. She's starring in a new Lifetime movie called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, The Christine Carlson Story, as well as recently getting engaged to longtime partner Chris Heiser. The promo for the movie was recently released, and fans were shocked to see that Locklear looks very different from her usual self. Fans are saying her face looks very puffy, probably due to too much filler. And finally, number one, Angus T. Jones. Since the hit show Two and a Half Men ended six years ago, Angus T. Jones has been out of the spotlight and is on a path to live a normal life not acting. Since he has stayed low key, he is rarely seen out in public. However, he was recently spotted in LA looking completely unrecognizable from Jake Harper on Two and a Half Men. Angus was just 10 years old when he started out on the show and was 21 by the time of the 2015 finale. In August, the 27 year old was spotted in LA with a full beard covering the lower half of his face. He was dressed pretty casually in a t-shirt, shorts, and beanie hat, but most notably he was not wearing any shoes. Not really sure why, but there's that. If you look too fast, most likely you wouldn't even have recognized that it was Angus. Side note, my favorite movie of his was Sea Spot Run. It's hilarious if you haven't seen it. It is literally one of the funniest movies ever. Just side note. In at number 10, Dorit Kemsley. Dorit Kemsley has starred on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills since season 7, and her face has changed considerably since she's been in the spotlight. If you look even further back, Dorit looks unrecognizable from her younger self, leading many to believe she's had lots of cosmetic enhancements. Dorit addressed these rumors in a recent Instagram AMA. When asked if she'd ever had plastic surgery, she responded, quote, The only plastic surgery that I've had done is my boobs. It drives me crazy when people say I've had plastic surgery on my face. I've done filler and Botox and I work with masterful makeup artists who can transform your face. She has also addressed this topic in multiple reunions for the show. In last year's reunion, she said she thinks it's comical when people claim that she's had a facelift or a bunch of surgeries. She also revealed in this year's reunion that she's never had a nose job. But honestly, a lot of fans do not believe her. And at number 9, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox was at the center of plastic surgery rumors when she all of a sudden looked unrecognizable from her former self. Courtney addressed the rumors and revealed that she did not have plastic surgery, but she did get fillers and Botox every now and then, which led to layers and layers of change that she just didn't like. Cox told New Beauty, quote, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look like myself. I think that I now look more like the person that I was. I hope I do. And at number eight, Janice Dickinson. Janice Dickinson has been deemed the world's first supermodel, starting her career very early, then transitioning into reality TV and publishing. But as she got older, her looks changed in ways that she didn't like, and she started to get procedures to stay younger. She admitted that she got her first cosmetic procedure at the age of 33. In an interview with with ABC News, Janice revealed all her procedures. Quote, brow lift, yes, I've had my brow lifted. She said I was getting a bit of sag coming down my face, so I lifted them up. Yes, I've had collagen put in, injections. It's for the fine lines on the face. Because of all her cosmetic work, she looks unrecognizable from who we knew in her modeling days. And at number seven, Melanie Griffith. Melanie Griffith says she didn't realize how much she had changed from her cosmetic enhancements until she heard what fans were saying about her appearance. She said, quote, I didn't realize until people started saying, oh my god, what has she done? I was so hurt I went to a different doctor and he started dissolving all of the shit this other woman doctor had put in. Hopefully I look more normal now. Melanie also spoke about how her many divorces and substance abuse affected not only her life but her appearance as well. But following her split from Antonio Banderas, she says she's in a healthy place and is hanging out with her girlfriends. And at number 6, Tara Reid. Tara Reid underwent multiple plastic surgeries after she started a few hit movies, including American Pie and The Pussycat Dolls. In 2004, after many of the surgeries were botched, she was forced to undergo corrective surgeries in 2007. She told Us Weekly, quote, I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. After the botched surgery, she was unable to land the same high caliber projects that she had once before, and she was only considered for spoof movies like Sharknado. She told People in 2008, quote, In my American Pie days, everyone was kissing my butt. I didn't realize how good I had it. Now she's terrified of ever getting surgery or cosmetic enhancements again. Halfway number five, Reed Ewig. Well, modern family actor Reed Ewig was suffering from body dysmorphia, he underwent several cosmetic procedures, all of which he regrets. He told the Huffington Post that after all the swelling from the surgeries went down, 
The results were not all what he expected, adding quote, I vowed I would never get cosmetic surgery again even though I was still deeply insecure about my looks. It took me about 6 months before I was comfortable with people even looking at me. I wish I could go back and undo all the surgeries. While he was recovering, he decided to take some time away from acting. And at number 4, Jennifer Grey The legendary Dirty Dancing star was known for her unique nose that really made her stand out from the crowd. However, in 1989, after she became a huge star, she decided to get a nose job and made her nose look like every other big star, and sadly her career shrank alongside her small nose. The nose job was pretty minor, but because her nose was so distinct before, it made her completely unrecognizable. She said about the regrettable procedure, quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. And because nobody recognized her, she didn't have the star power the movies were looking for and she stopped landing roles as a result. And at number 3, Rumor Willis After Rumor stepped out looking very different from her usual self, fans speculated that she went under the knife. It was rumored that she received a nose job, reduced her chin, and had lip injections. It's not a stretch to assume that she's had work done, as rumors admitted she supports plastic surgery and would be open if she went that route. She said, quote, In Hollywood, I feel like there's a big stigma about hiding things, but people aren't stupid. If all of a sudden you jump from being an A cup to like double D's, people know. I just think you have to be who you are and own it, and not be ashamed to feel like you have to apologize. Rumors also opened up about feeling pressure from social media to change her looks because people are more vocal behind a computer screen. And at number two, Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne was first known to the world as a Disney star on the show Shake It Up. But as she grew older, she changed more than what was possible naturally. Bella has been accused of having a nose job, boob job, and getting lip filler. It's speculated that she had her first lip injection when she was just 16 and had a rhinoplasty the following year. As for breast implants, one source claims she went from a 34A to a 34DD. Bella has not commented directly on these surgery accusations, but from the changes, it's assumed that she is not au naturel. And finally, number one, Charlotte Crosby. The Geordie Shore star has been getting surgery ever since she got on TV, and has changed drastically. It's at the point where some fans are worried she actually has a surgery addiction. Charlotte openly admitted that she'd had a nose job back in 2016. She also admits to getting lip filler once a year and getting a boob job to correct a medical condition she was born with that gave her a quote uniboob. The first cosmetic enhancement she received was a tattoo on her eyebrow so she wouldn't need to fill them in. At first, Charlotte hid her rhinoplasty from fans, but weeks later, she posted a YouTube vlog about the entire process. After she posted photos from a holiday she took to Brazil, the comments accused her of getting more work done. One comment said, She should have stopped with the surgery, Botox, and fillers a long time ago. Another person wrote, Poor girl, her face is badly swollen. Is it an allergy? So that is all for the list, guys. Let me know your thoughts on anything that I said below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from our last marathon. So Kel said, I'd love to see all the Real Housewives without any makeup on at all. I think sometimes we catch them if they're on like those trips. Sometimes you'll see them without makeup, but it's so rare to see them completely natural. They either have, you know, maybe no makeup, but they'll have their hair done perfectly or they'll have like some other thing, their skincare perfectly. Like we never see these women just like real. And it's so crazy, especially someone like Kyle who's been on the show for ages. Like you'd think she'd be just like more comfortable opening up and being natural. Maybe she is the most, but um yeah, the, the difference would be very shocking. And at number 10, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell looked completely unrecognizable in the new Batman trailer where he's playing the Penguin. The 2022 version of the classic story is starring Robert Pattinson as Batman and Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. In Farrell's version of the Penguin, he looks somewhat like a mafia boss. This is different than what we know from the comics where the Penguin is seen with a top hat, a monocle, and a fancy three-piece suit. Farrell is clearly wearing heavy prosthetics that change the entire shape and structure of his face, along with making him much heavier than his usual self. Farrell also looks much different than Danny DeVito's 1992 version of the character. In that one, DeVito looks straight out of a Tim Burton movie. And at number 9, Christopher Hivju. The Game of Thrones actor recently joined the show The Witcher for its second season, and he looks drastically different from his work as Torment. We got a sneak peek of his character on Henry Cavill's Instagram. Henry is the main character on The Witcher. He wrote, quote, The amazing, the wonderful, the electric, enigmatic Christopher Hivju. Christopher was extraordinarily brave for season 2 of The Witcher and decided to play his character Nivellin with zero makeup or visual effects as you can see above. In the photo we see heavy prosthetics along with Christopher even wearing horns around his mouth. So clearly Henry Cavill was being sarcastic in his post. And at number 8, Megan Fox. Megan Fox shocked followers when she ditched her famous brown hair and bleached it a silver blonde. The caption on the photo read, quote, This is what the devil's daughter looks like. 
then shouting out her new role in the movie Johnny and Clyde. Fox will star alongside Preacher's Tyson Ritter. Fox is set to portray Alana, crime boss who runs a prosperous casino per deadline. And apparently this film is incredibly scary, with insiders calling it a spooky supernatural slasher. Co-writer and director Tom Danucci said Alana will be quote, a very dark character and that her look is meant to reflect that. Danucci continued, quote, I don't want to give away too much, but visually we wanted her to almost be like a Disney princess, but a messed up, very dark, twisted version of that. Her look is just incredible, this kind of almost evil princess character. And at number 7, Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry had worried fans in new paparazzi photos taken of the actor. In the photos, he was picking up a coffee at Starbucks, but eyewitnesses say he was chain smoking the whole time, and he looked unkept and disheveled. Others say he was also out of breath while walking to grab the drink. Concerns about Perry's health started after the Friends reunion aired, where Perry was slurring his words, along with nodding off during an interview. Many fans shared their concern for him in the comments of that video. One read, quote, I hope he gets better soon. I don't know how I'm going to enjoy the reunion when Matthew is this sad. And at number 6, Renee Zellweger. Renee Zellweger was just seen out filming for her new role as convicted killer Pam Hupp, and she looked unrecognizable. Most notably, Renee was significantly heavier than her typical small frame. This was due to a fat suit she was wearing that made her look more similar to Hupp. Zellweger also appeared to have a prosthetic nose to further the transformation. The project is NBC crime series called The Thing About Pam. Pam Hupp was convicted of killing Louis Gumpenberger. She has also been accused of killing other people, but not convicted for any other crimes. This fat suit has actually been controversial, but it's assumed that Zellweger took this route instead of gaining weight like she did for her past role playing Bridget Jones, where she put on a lot of weight for the role and took a toll on her mental health. Halfway number 5, Haley Steinfeld. The Met Gala is usually a place where stars dress incredibly different from their usual selves, but Haley shocked the world when she came looking entirely different than we'd ever seen her before. I actually had to do a double take to make sure it was even her. At the event, she ditched her signature brown hair for a silvery white bob. Her makeup also completed the look, elevating the white and silvery nature of the Iris Van Herpen outfit she was wearing at the event. We've seen Haley at the event a few times before, but never looking like this. Although the look was totally epic, she went back to her classic brown hair right after. And at number 4, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman has completely transformed into Lucille Ball for the new movie based on her life called Being the Ricardos. The film will follow Lucille and Desi during a whirlwind week at filming I Love Lucy, with the story unfolding during a Monday table read until it wraps up with a Friday TV shoot in front of a live audience. Not only has Kidman nailed her look, insiders say that Kidman sounds identical to Ball as well and has nailed her signature voice. One of Lucille's children even praised the film, saying that Nicole Kidman did a spectacular job in the role. And at number 3, Ariana Grande. When you think of Ariana Grande, her signature ponytail is probably the first thing that pops into mind. But Ariana is looking entirely different from her former self in the new promo material for The Voice. Ariana is the show's newest judge, and she's taken on an entirely new aesthetic. In the promo materials, fans shared that they didn't even realize it was Ariana. She's wearing less makeup, her skin is less tanned, and her hair is short and down instead of in a ponytail. One author even joked that she looks like a quote, married white woman, following her marriage to Dalton Gomez. Another said the lack of makeup might be the reason for her new look. They wrote, quote, Is it just because she's not wearing dark makeup or does she have an entirely different face? And at number two, Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato has been going through a lot of changes recently, some physically and others mentally. After Demi revealed that they prefer they them pronouns, Demi has changed their style considerably. Demi used to be known for their long black hair, but recently they chopped it into a mullet-like hairstyle. At one point, Demi was even rocking a hairstyle that looked almost identical to the Kardashian matriarch, Kris Jenner. Fans are even posting side-by-side -side photos of them compared, and it's crazy how similar these hairstyles are. But that's not all. Demi has also been open about their new fascination with UFOs. They're even creating a new show around the topic and potentially having interactions with UFOs. And finally, number one, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon looks nothing like the man we've seen before on the big screen, and he shocked his fans when he uploaded a picture showing his face looking bloated and puffy. He was also clean shaven in the photo. It's clear the change is due to prosthetics as he was looking slim the last time he was seen out before this photo. And Kevin's actually not a stranger to changing himself for roles. He's transformed many times before in his advertisements for mobile network operator EE. One fan even commented on the photo saying Kevin's new look is most likely for the same commercial. Another fan joked that he needed to cut down on the bacon.